Scott Drew's family have gone to Lexington on the private plane owned by one of Kentucky's biggest boosters, and it feels like the decision is in their hands now. This is Locked on Baylor. You are Locked on Baylor, your daily podcast on the Baylor Bears, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. We have late developing news here at the top of the 10 o'clock news here in central Texas. Great journalism work by Darby Brown. Once again, who in both segments gets huge credit. Darby Brown of channel 10 here in Waco had the video of the plane owned by Joe Kraft, one of the big donors at Kentucky who has the practice facility named after him in Lexington, his private plane landing in temple, not in Waco. Almost a brilliant move. Almost fooled everybody. Landing in Temple for you Kentucky fans is about 45 minutes south of Waco. And Darby had the video with Scott Scott Drew's family getting off that plane. Um, she had mentioned that it had come to Temple in the morning, stopped for about 20 minutes, came back at about 7.30 at night with Drew's family coming off. So all we can think is that the rest of Scott Drew's family got to go and, and get the tour and see what Lexington and UK was all about. I know Scott's been there before. <laughs> they were the first team to beat Calipari and Rupp Arena back in 2012, so he has seen it. But um, this feels very disheartening. Um, it does, because the 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 big victory of the Mikasita tweet is that he was not in Lexington, right? So that, that eliminates that he was interviewing for the job that day, like some others had reported. And now, I mean, we know that he didn't go there and interview for the job, but his family went and, and saw it. <laughs> and it was members of his immediate family um, went out there and saw it. And I'm sure Scott can get an offer over a phone call. Um, the, it feels like we have entered the danger zone here. It, it really does. Um, it's as close to 50-50, if not leaning more towards Kentucky. Than, it, than it's ever been. Um, and it's 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 bizarre, I think, that from what we can tell, Scott stayed here in Waco and the rest of his family went out there. Uh, I guess this is like the Dan Hurley thing. You got to you gotta sell his wife on it. Um, but it is, uh, it was tough news to see uh, if you're trying to get Scott Drew to stay at Baylor. And I, I, I'm going to refrain from fully lashing out on this because I want to hear more. I want to hear what his side of the story is. But initial reaction is I I now really don't like the tweet from lunchtime. I think it, it really rubs me the wrong way um, if he put that out knowing that his family was in Lexington and he was trying to get us off the scent. Um, I don't love that at all. At all. Um, but obviously... We, we know Scott enough to know that you do have to sell his family on it. You know, a lot of coaches just say that just to say that, but I think Scott really, really takes that to heart uh, because it's, it's a massive move for them too. Again, like these things do come into play. His daughter goes to Baylor. Um, they, they've been working on a new house here in Waco for like the last two years. So like that, that's a, that's a major investment, no matter how much money you're making. Um, but this, this, feels like the end it, it it does it feels it feels like it's over um but i i guess if you're looking for a silver lining baylor fans i'll i'll give it to you i guess you can have the silver lining of the family goes out there and they're probably not taking a lot of basketball into account you know, if you send Scott Drew out there, you send any college basketball fan out there, and they're going to be smitten, right? They're going to see it's it's Kentucky. It's it's as big as a program as everyone says it is. It's a 20,000-seat arena. You got all these national championship banners. The place bleeds Kentucky basketball, you know? But if you put your family out there who don't care as much about the basketball, in fact, I would go as far as saying Scott Drew's family probably cares very little about the basketball. They care about the, all the things around it. They care about their home, the town they're going to live in, uh, how the fans will will treat them during during good times and bad. And so 
I guess I'm hoping that that silver lining is they went out there and hopefully they weren't all that impressed with it, but I've heard only great things about Lexington, like genuinely um, from any fan base, they say it's a great town. So this feels pretty close to a death blow. Um, credit to Darby. She was the only one who had this, you know, we had people on the, we heard about people on the ground at TV cameras in Lexington that didn't capture anything. And we were all looking at flight tracks in Waco and they, they tripped us up by going to temple and, and Darby went down there and, and she had the video. Uh, it's on KWTX channel 10. She did have to blur out the family's faces. They were uh, requesting privacy, uh, but she does have, you know, their torso and their lower half coming off the plane. And, and, um, she was able to confirm that that was Scott Drew's family. So interesting move, just the family out there, not Scott or Scott snuck out there at some other time that we didn't know about. Maybe he's driving through the night right now. I don't know. Uh, but this, uh, this day certainly got tipped on its head. I mean, this has been chaotic. This has been hour by hour, something new. And I think, earlier earlier Wednesday was the first time Baylor fans could feel okay seeing that picture like I mentioned in that in that video that was originally this segment but you can see it on YouTube it I, I you know I felt good I felt maybe there's some naivete there but you know here he is supposed to be in Lexington but he's out in Waco posting about it wearing Baylor basketball stuff that's just not something you do when you're hours away from taking another job. Um, but that could well be the case. I mean, and, and if, and if Scott Drew's family is out there and we have not heard, there was one report that he had gotten offered the job. No other reporter had that. Uh, just one guy from a paper in, in Lexington, uh, had that nobody else did. And so I'm thinking, okay, they've just contacted him. That's the only thing we can confirm. But now if you're sending a family out there, that means there's an offer. That means they want you. Why else would you would you send a family out there except to to check out the town and make the make the final decision? Um so hopefully that family, that Drew family just bleeds green and gold enough to keep him to keep him here in Waco. But I'm telling you, we are we are teetering on the brink. Uh, I imagine we're going to have the answer Thursday. Uh, you know, family meeting tonight, maybe sleep on it, a lot of prayer. But I think we're gonna have a decision whether Scott is staying or going here here um in the next day, in the next 24 hours at the most. So that's the latest update we have here on Wednesday night is that the the family Drew was flown out there by the University of Kentucky or at least by one of their biggest donors to go out to Lexington, check out the lay of the land and report back to Scott. And this is a family decision for them. So we, we're just going to have to we're just going to have to see probably probably Thursday. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. We really appreciate that. And if you want to keep up to date on all the Baylor sports news, be sure to give us a like and ring the notification bell because we are your first listen today and every day. We are your exclusive home for nothing but Baylor sports content five days a week that's not coming straight from the university. Be sure to follow us here on YouTube and also wherever you get your podcasts and on Twitter as well at Locked on Baylor. Thanks so much again. Have a good one and sick of